Good morning, sunshine. It's another day in paradise. Over here with me and Maximus Prime. So my birthday was Saturday. Best time ever. I had a wonderful day. Whitney flew in and surprised me. We had a lot of fun. We all went out on Saturday night, um, which was my actual birthday. And then Sunday, literally, I don't even want to talk about, I'm gonna talk about whatever. Went out Saturday night. I had maybe three glasses of champagne. That's it. Didn't drink much at all. I've probably drank 10 times in the past year. And <laughs> I drank three glasses of champagne. And then yesterday, I was just miserable the whole damn day for no reason. It's so frustrating that I just have, my liver is just incapable of processing alcohol apparently. So today is Monday. I pretty much let myself potato all day yesterday. Today's Monday, we're back on the grind. So I thought today we could just go through a day in the life. So I check my email in the mornings usually and we got some emails from my realtor. I wanted to kind of like share with y'all how the house buying process goes because I didn't know because I have never done it before. So I had to submit like for pre-approval for my mortgage, which for, was for like a certain amount, whatever. I got my pre-approval in and they tell me how much money, the maximum amount of money I can borrow basically, then plus my down payment, which I already have set aside and ready to go. I picked my dates that I'm going to Austin to look at homes. My family is all going on like this cruise for my sister's spring break, which they begged me to go on with them, I will say, but I said no because I don't like cruises. I'm very, I don't like the idea of not being able to get off the boat if you need to at any time. So we're looking at homes here and it's really exciting. So now my job is I basically, she sends me the homes based on like the criteria and kind of things that I like the most and I have to go through and I just click if I like them and whatnot. So we have our dates in Austin. I'll be there end of March um, to look at these in person. It'd be really cool if we found something during that week and my schedule's fairly flexible. So if I do, hopefully, I don't know what the next steps are exactly, but that's just like the step that I'm at right now. Let me see if I can show y'all like one that looks cool. So for example, I'll just like look through the pictures and then if I like it, I can click a little like favorite thing. I like this one, like this, these countertops and stuff. Um, and the big windows, stuff like that. But my budget for Austin is gonna get me a nice house <laughs> as opposed to that budget. Here in California would get me a fixer upper to say the least. And also just in Texas, there's no state tax. So that just helps me a lot as well. <laughs> we'll see what happens, but that's what we're doing. I'm gonna go through the new homes that she sent me today. And then we're gonna run to the gym. I don't know if I wanna go to zoo today cause it's kind of far or if we're just gonna go to my regular gym, but I'll figure it out in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I got a little distracted by watching YouTube videos. So I'm hungry now. So I'm gonna eat before I go to the gym. This is so delicious. Dairy free coconut milk yogurt alternative vanilla. Vanilla is the flavor. I'm putting that in a little bowl right here. And I have some very, very ripe bananas. Possibly a little too ripe, but they're gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna have a banana. Also. And this is gonna be me breaking my fast. Wow, I'm cute right now. Cutie patootie. Okay, amigos, I am so excited because I have partnered with FabFitFun for this video. I'm just very excited that brands like this one work with me and I just feel very appreciative. I've watched Whitney open so many of these and I'm so excited to open one for myself now. If you don't know what FabFitFun is, it's like um, a seasonal like subscription box kind of thing. So it's a mystery box today because I didn't pick anything, but you can actually customize a lot of your options when you get your boxes. They come four times a year. I've got a $10 coupon in the description box for you if you guys wanna try it too. I did not watch Whitney's video or anyone else's unboxing video for this. I'm actually really hyped to see what's inside. <laughs> okay, first of all, it's quite heavy, first impressions. And it's very cute. Like, look how cute this is. It's so yellow. This is the spring box. Oh, I feel like I'm opening like a chest in, in Zelda. It's like. Fun Spring 2019 covered with beautiful Venus Williams. Oh, of course it's Venus Williams. I'm dumb. I was just trying to read the white font on the white shirt and I was like, what does it say? I'm like an old lady holding a 10 feet away from my face. New year, fresh you. Oh, hello, fresh. I've actually used this many, many times. Lit. $25 off your first two deliveries plus free shipping. $50 gift card. Oh, that's it's a good place to start out because if you know me, you know that uh, I get 90% of my food delivered to my house. Okay, this looks cute as fuck. Okay, this is one of those as well cups, so you can keep your beverages hot or cold. Cool! 
Love it, love it, adorbs. I've already opened it, I'm already ready, planning. Show me your moo moo! What is a moo moo? It's like that, we're about to find out. This reminds me of like Hawaii, like I'm on a balcony, everything's green. This is cute AF, it's like not the texture of a robe either, so I feel like you could maybe get away with wearing it, you know? I would wear this over a bikini or something. I don't, I'm kind of overexcited, so I don't know if I'm going through everything too quickly, but YOLO. This one's a jump rope. <laughs> Party, am I right? Jumping rope is like something that looks so easy that you do as a child, but like I still cannot get the hang of. Oh God, this brings back so many memories of just trauma of being not hand-eye coordinated in high school. I guess, yeah, we have to be fab, fit, and fun. I'm here for it. This is a, I feel like, I could do like, what do the makeup people do? They do this. Oh, it's too big for that. My hand's so small. <laughs> Nothing happens. <laughs> Fours Wild Rose Vitamin C Brightening Sleeping Facial. Oh no, it's so nice. Oh my gosh, if I could have a perfume made of this scent, it's like, mm, it smells fresh and clean. Maybe like Wild Rose, I don't know. Vitamin C Brightening Sleeping Facial. I love it, I love it, I love Night Mask. Next one, Needles No More. No more baggage. Oh, I do puffing. Girl, boy, my friend, my subscribe, my person. I have such serious eye bags when I wake up in the morning. Oh my gosh, it's orange, it's orange. It comes out orange. What if it depuffs my hand? Oh, that's creamy. It feels like, um, like a spearmint or something, you know, like it's minty, it's like cooling, like eucalyptus, spearmint. That's nice, I like that a lot. It does not look orange after you put it on. Oh, and it doesn't orange combat like dark circles. That's probably why it's orange. This is smart, that's brilliant. Oh, it's like I just showered. Perfect, this is a leave-in conditioner, so not a dry shampoo, which is beautiful because, you know, who wants brittle hair? A multitasking leave-in mist that works all day to smooth, soften, and detangle hair. Ever since I got, like, when I get my hair bleached, even, like, after I shampoo it in the shower, before I condition it, it feels so brittle. I think it's just the damage, the bleach damage that I've done to it. I'm always putting something, kind of trying to help it afterwards. I'll put like a little serum or something, but I'll leave it in the share. Well, this, my friends, ah, oh, the last scrub I had, I literally used it all within like, like two weeks of showers and baths because I just like, like when you scrub and then you feel just like a baby afterwards. I'm a little addicted to that feeling. Detoxify, exfoliate and hydrate your skin with this gentle body scrub. Buff away dead skin cells and absorb excess oils to reveal balanced and moisturized skin. I love it, especially because I just had my birthday and I feel old. I'm always trying to keep my skin fresh, young, rejuvenated, beautiful. Okay, last but not least, we have aromatic body lotion. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh. All of these are so, this is the perfect like spring bundle, legit. Like it all smells so like every single thing I've smelled, smells like it perks you up. You know, like winter mood things would like kind of calm you down and be like, mm, let's get relaxed, winter. This is like spring, like let's go out in the sunshine and let's do stuff. Like that's the vibe that I'm getting right now. Cool, this is so fun. Because like I never buy little random like care for you kind of stuff. It's kind of like the gift basket that you might like get your friend for your birthday if you were creative and could think of lots of different things to get for her, you know what I mean? Like this is something that I would make. A body lotion. A scrub, so you're gonna be soft and luscious. We're gonna get rid of your under eye circles. We're gonna have you a night mask, so when you go to sleep, you're waking up feeling fresh. And, and, we're jumping rope and sweating and hating ourselves afterwards with luscious soft hair. And all of these scents just perk you the F up. And we're hydrated, 10 out of 10. I would like another one of these. I wonder what the summer one's gonna be. I love how it's so, um, it's so seasonal. When they said spring box, I didn't really think anything of it. I didn't know if it was gonna be like, you know. So fun. Ah, it's like a little birthday present. Cool. Well, thanks FabFitFun for the box. I love it. I hope I get the next one. Mmm, refresh me up. Spice me up. Citrus, mmm. So yeah, thank you to FabFitFun for partnering with me for this. I absolutely love it. 10 out of 10. You guys should definitely try it out. I got a link below. Let me know what you think about yours. My moo moo. <laughs> Good morning, sunshines. It's actually evening, obviously. I'm freshly showered and whatnot, but I was given a stroke of inspiration, I guess by myself. <laughs> I'm brilliant after all. The purpose of me looking like this and popping on was to tell you that I'm having a a negative day. Not a bad day. I've been productive. I've done what I needed to do. Very productive, in fact, because that is kind of what something I like to do to push through negativity is just to be overly productive to try to, 
ignore it. But I don't know if my hormones are just bugging me or something, but I just feel very negative and I always know when I feel negative because first of all, it's usually accompanied with some like breakouts and I will just get so tilted from YouTube comments and I'm just like, why am I so angry right now? Why am I taking this so personally? Because I, I tend to try to think from the standpoint that a negative comment is more a reflection of that person than a reflection of you. So usually negative comments don't super get to me. But on days like this, I could write a four page essay, single spaced Times New Roman 12 point font, whatever, one inch margins <laughs> on, you know, how their comment is wrong and rude and unnecessary. You know what I mean? My point from this ramble is I wanted to make a video on what I do to get through a negative day or a bad day or kind of like how to turn it around. I know a lot of people go through really hard times. I have before in my life. I do here and there, obviously. Everyone, I guess everyone does. But when you're going through those tough times, my favorite thing that's always kept me going is one day at a time. I always say, Nikki, one day at a time, you can do this. Sometimes it's literally like, it's one hour at a time, you know? It's just so bad that you just can't even imagine living through the next hour, but you have to do it, you can. So you have to set yourself up like that because I often think, I feel like I'm falling into a great black hole if I think of things from a too, too large of a standpoint. If I'm like, well, what am I gonna do in three months when this happens and then Christmas time, like what am I gonna tell my parents or something? I don't even know, regardless of what the situation is. If you're in that kind of negative space, Thinking of things as a whole can sometimes be quite overwhelming. So I always try to take it one day at a time. So for example, today, when I'm having a very negative day, I try to push through it and be as productive as possible. And at this point in the evening, I'm trying to set myself up for tomorrow because today wasn't the best day. So tomorrow, I have to set that Nikki up for success. <laughs> so today, tonight, I scrubbed my body I shaved everything so I could, and exfoliated, so I could put on a little self tanner, so I could feel myself a little more. So I've done that. I'm trying to take care of myself and I really focus on myself when I'm feeling negative. Although I think you could also do it the other way where you focus on someone else and help them be better to make, you know, positive use of your energy even if you're feeling negative. At least you can focus on someone else and then maybe you won't feel as negative about yourself. But at the moment, we're focusing on me. I hope this all makes sense. I just wanted to break it down to you because I feel like a lot of times, I literally was just talking to my friend on the phone and I was just like, what do I do when I'm feeling this negative? Like, how do I stop feeling like this? It's, it feels like emotionally drowning. They said to take a shower and I was like, yeah, I'll do that. And then, and then I'll wash my hair and I'll put on self tanner and I'll just feel so good. And so that is what I did. So I'm working on that. I popped open a fizzy, yummy drink, maybe caffeine, even though it's the evening, <laughs> but I promised myself I'd only drink half of it. So I did that, I got in the shower. I'm already feeling better because I feel like refreshed I feel like I can start a new page, start a new leaf. I know I'm setting tomorrow's Nikki up for success and that she's gonna wake up tan and clean and happy and just ready to start the day. So I'm very excited about that. So when you're having a bad day, focus on you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time if you have to. Take care of yourself. Make sure that you are setting yourself up for the next day to be a better day because you don't wanna wake up again, starting off with a negative attitude with the negative negativity just overwhelming you the worst part i hate starting off a day negative it's the worst and it's so hard to turn it back around if you start it off that way so i'm really just trying to to focus on me and that's what we're doing and i just wanted to have that chat with you because i thought i was thinking it through as i was going through these steps and i thought that i would share it with you guys also i i don't know if anyone else is like this but just another side note Every time anything negative happens, or not negative, anything not not good happens to my body or my mind or anything, I'm always like, I'm probably dehydrated. Just always. And so I just fill up with like four glasses of water. And I'm like, I, I just feel like water fixes everything. There's a big old cat hair in this water. I hate how sometimes negative comments can just get stuck in the back of my head and I keep thinking of things that I would say to them like, well, have you ever thought that? <laughs> so stupid and petty and just silly of me to do. I think it's always healthiest when you could admit your flaws and see like, and maybe think like, maybe did I do something wrong? Or I always try to think of things from someone else's perspective. Like, would that be wrong from their perspective? I don't know. Does this just seem like a huge clusterfuck ramble? I'm trying my best here. But yes, that is how we're turning a bad day around today. Drink your water.
Thank you.